Alright boys, it's time for that video you've all been waiting for. Thermite. So, if my analytics are correct, then people who watch this also watch Push and Blue. So, Mr. Blue, if you're watching this, I'm not saying anything, but if you want to collab with yours truly, I'm up for it, you know? You could, find, you could figure something out. Anyways, Thermite is like if you were to take the two most NPC chemicals of all time, mix them up, and you get a sort of cool, sort of deadly reaction. What's happening is really it's just a chemical with an extra oxygen, but it's stable this time, and you also have a chemical that wants to snatch that oxygen, and the really hungry for oxygen one snatches the oxygen, and it creates a bunch and a bunch of heat, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make the most common thermite, which is just aluminum powder and iron oxide. Iron oxide is red, and aluminum powder is gray, and I just, I know my colors. Join the Discord server. Anyway, to start off with making iron oxide, you first need a form of iron. I use steel wool because of its thin strand-like fibers, making its surface area very high, allowing it to make contact with the other reactants. First, I measure out 20 grams of iron in the form of steel wool, and I slam it into the beaker alongside 100 milliliters of water and 100 milliliters of 12 molar 37% hydrochloric acid, aka the greatest drink of all time. Then, I turn on the heat until it all boils, and I add a separate beaker filled with cold water onto the top of it to make sure that the acid doesn't all boil off. It's worth noting that as the iron reacts with the, with the acid, highly flammable ex and explosive hydrogen gas is let off. For this reason, you should probably do this in a fume hood, outside, or you could just get good and learn how to breathe in hydrogen gas. You can see the flammable properties of the hydrogen gas as I laid it on fire with a blowtorch. Once all of my iron is dissolved, it'll have, the solution will have a nice green color, and this is because of a ferric chloride complex. And to turn this into iron oxide, all you need to do is add oxygen. This can be done by pumping air through the solution with an aquarium pump, but because of my laziness, I'm just going to dump in a bunch of hydrogen peroxide, and as I do this, the solution takes a reddish color. And at a certain point, it just looks like a big cup of turd. Once this is done, I neutralize the acid with sodium bicarbonate, or more commonly known as baking soda. Once the solution has around the pH of 7, you can heat it up and evaporate off all the water. I'm too lazy for that though, so I'm going to do it off camera. And if you want to turn this into thermite, all you got to do is grind it up a bit and add 1-3 to three parts of this to fine aluminum powder, light it up, but YouTube will ban me if I do it on here. So later, I'll put it on my Discord, and without further ado, thanks for watching.